Two animals we're lucky are extinct. Number one, the absolute ruler of the oceans, the Megalodon. Imagine a shadow in the deep, one so vast it could swallow a school bus whole. That was Carcharocles Megalodon, the largest shark that ever lived. Estimated to be up to 20 meters, 65 feet long, with a jaw so powerful it could crush a whale's skull as easily as we bite into an apple. This predator was the undisputed terror of the prehistoric seas. Its 20 million year reign saw it dominate every corner of the ocean with not a single natural predator daring to challenge it. Fortunately for us and for modern whales, the cooling of the oceans and the disappearance of its primary prey led to its extinction. The thought of such a creature patrolling our beaches today is the stuff of nightmares. A swim in the ocean would never be the same if we knew the king of all predators could be lurking just beneath the surface, with rows of hand-sized teeth ready to strike. Its extinction was without a doubt a blessing for the evolution of marine mammals and for our own peace of mind. Number two, the Titan Serpent of the Underworld, the Titanoboa. In the swampy jungles of what is now Colombia, about 60 million years ago, slithered a snake of mythical proportions. Titanoboa cereonensis measured over 13 meters, 43 feet long, and weighed more than a ton. It was so wide that, as it slithered, it would have reached an adult human's waist. It wasn't venomous, it didn't need to be. Like a nightmare anaconda, this beast killed its prey, which included giant crocodiles and turtles the size of a dining table by constriction, applying a pressure of nearly 400 pounds per square inch. Its existence was made possible by a much warmer climate, but its disappearance is a monumental relief. A world with the Titanoboa would be a place where jungles and rivers were no-go zones for humanity. Any expedition could end with an entire team being swallowed by a creature straight out of a horror film. The mere fact that something so massive and powerful once existed makes us grateful for our planet's cooler modern temperatures. Number 3. The Saber-Toothed Monster of the Nile The Spinosaurus if you thought the T-Rex was the king of carnivorous dinosaurs, think again. Spinosaurus aegyptiacus was not only larger, reaching up to 18 meters, 60 feet in length, but it was a semi-aquatic monster, perfectly adapted to hunt on both land and water. With an intimidating dorsal sail, a long, narrow snout filled with conical, crocodile-like teeth and gigantic claws, it was a versatile and terrifying predator. It fed on giant prehistoric fish, but wouldn't hesitate to tear apart any dinosaur that got too close to its river territory. Imagining a predator that combines the ferocity of a Tyrannosaurus with the aquatic skill of a giant crocodile is chilling. It could stalk you in a river and then chase you onto dry land. Its existence would have made any source of fresh water a death trap. Its extinction meant that river ecosystems could evolve without a 10-ton tyrant dominating every bank and every current. Number four, the crocodile-sized sea scorpion. The Jekyllopterus renanian dive into the rivers and estuaries of 390 million years ago, and you might have encountered the largest arthropod of all time. This was no ordinary scorpion. It was a 2.5 meter long, eight foot beast, a sea scorpion with sharp segmented claws nearly half a meter long. It was the apex predator of its time, lurking in fresh and brackish waters waiting to snatch fish and any other creature unlucky enough to cross its path. Its exoskeleton made it an armored tank with deadly weapons. Fortunately, this arthropod terror went extinct long before humans appeared. A world with creatures like Jacolopterus in our lakes and rivers would be simply uninhabitable. The idea of a scorpion the size of an alligator, with surprising speed and agility in the water, is reason enough to celebrate that evolution took a different far less terrifying path for modern arthropods. Number five, the whale with a predator's bite, the Liviatan Melvilla. A contemporary of the Megalodon, there was another sea monster vying for the title of Alpha Predator. Liviatan was a prehistoric sperm whale, but unlike modern sperm whales, it had a terrifying secret weapon, a full set of functional, fearsome teeth in both jaws. 
Its teeth were the largest of any known animal, reaching up to 36 centimeters, 14 inches, in length. This 17-meter, 55-foot whale didn't feed on squid. It hunted other whales, seals, and anything large that moved in the ocean. The existence of Liviatin, alongside Megalodon, turned the Miocene oceans into the most dangerous place in the planet's history. They were battlegrounds of titans, and every other creature was simply potential prey. We're glad this saber-toothed leviathan no longer exists, allowing baleen whales and other gentle giants of the ocean to roam the seas without the fear of being rammed and torn apart by this formidable hunter. Number 6. The Emperor Crocodile The Sarcosuchus Imperator, popularly known as Super Croc. This distant relative of modern crocodiles lived one, one, two million years ago and made its descendants look like lizards. Reaching up to 12 meters, 40 feet in length and weighing eight tons, Sarcosuchus was a force of nature. Its skull alone was nearly two meters, six feet long, and packed with over 100 robust teeth designed to crush bone and tear the flesh of dinosaurs that came to drink from African rivers. Imagine a world where crocodiles are not just a threat in the water but are so massive they can drag and devour medium-sized dinosaurs. The pressure they exerted on their ecosystems was immense, turning every river and lake into a death trap. The extinction of Sarcosuchus allowed for the development of different megafauna and, fortunately for us, limited the maximum size of crocodiles to something that, while still dangerous, is not a monster of epic proportions. Number 7. The Giant Terror Bird The Argentavis Magnificens If you have a fear of birds, this creature would send you into an absolute panic. Argentavis was one of the largest flying birds in history, with a wingspan of up to 7 meters, 23 feet, similar to that of a small airplane. It lived 6 million years ago in Argentina, and, while likely more of a scavenger, a bird of that size with a sharp beak and powerful talons, wouldn't hesitate to attack small or medium-sized animals if the opportunity arose. Imagine a shadow of that size passing over you, followed by the descent of a winged predator weighing over 70 kilograms, 150 pounds. A world with Argentavis would have been a place where stepping out into open spaces was a constant risk. Livestock, pets, and even small children could have been easy prey for this giant of the sky. Its disappearance allows us to appreciate modern birds of prey without the primal fear that a creature of such dimensions would inspire. Number 8. The Nightmare-Faced Bear The Arctodus simus, or the Short-Faced Bear. This was not your average brown bear. Standing on its hind legs, it could reach a height of 3.5 meters, 11.5 feet, and it was leaner and faster than modern bears, built for running at high speeds. With incredibly powerful jaws, and a superior sense of smell. It was the most formidable land predator in North America during the Ice Age. It didn't settle for berries and fish. It was a hypercarnivore that hunted giant sloths, bison, and horses. The coexistence of the first humans in America with this super predator must have been a constant, terrifying struggle. Unlike other bears, the short-faced bear was an active and persistent hunter, capable of chasing its prey over long distances. Fortunately, its reliance on megafauna led to its extinction when its prey disappeared, saving our ancestors from an almost certain deadly encounter. Number 9. The Car-Sized Centipede The Arthropleura In the Carboniferous forest of 300 million years ago, you didn't have to worry about snakes or big cats. You had to worry about insects. Arthropleura was a giant relative of modern centipedes and millipedes, reaching a length of up to 2.5 meters, 8 feet. It was a segmented, armored tank that crawled along the forest floor. Although it's debated whether it was a herbivore or carnivore, the mere sight of a bug that size would be enough to cause a heart attack. Imagine camping in the woods and seeing a trail on the ground as wide as one left by a motorcycle made by a giant invertebrate. The existence of Arthropleura, made possible by the high oxygen levels of its time, is a chilling reminder of how different and hostile life can be under other planetary conditions. Its extinction saved us from having to share our world with nightmarish arthropods. Number 10. 
The Hell Pig The Deodon Despite its pig-like appearance, Deodon was no pig. It was an intelodont, a group of omnivorous mammals with a fearsome reputation. Standing nearly 2 meters, 6.5 feet, tall at the shoulder, with a skull almost a meter long, Deodon was an intimidating beast that roamed North America about 20 million years ago. It had bony protrusions on its face and a jaw filled with enormous, crushing teeth capable of shattering bone with ease. They were aggressive scavengers and ambush predators. The ferocity of these creatures was legendary, earning them the nickname Hell Pigs. It is believed they were extremely territorial and aggressive, attacking anything they considered a threat or a potential meal. The thought of herds of these bad-tempered armored beasts roaming the plains is terrifying. Their extinction left the niche of brutal giant omnivore vacant, much to our relief. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Give it a like, comment your thoughts, and share this video with your friends and family.